Ojanga, 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 I was born in Zambia, a slum that was located in the heart of the Pearl of Africa. Two parts awaited us who grew up in the neighborhood. The wrong and right, footprints of the wrong path. Alcohol, Drugs and crime were clearly marked right to my doorsteps. Family and strangers tirelessly stared me through blurrily footsteps. Nothing granted but what the strain was the right path. Forever grateful, I am not defined by the neighborhood I came from. I was single-handedly raised by my maternal grandmother. Miss Florence Namande single-handedly raised me until her death in 2001. We lived in the slums of Nsambia. I do not know much about my mother and father. They left me before I got to know them. My grandmother was all I had. She taught me valuable life lessons. With very little, she unselfishly provided for me. Sharing Youth Center, Nsambia was the shelter for young ones to escape from the harsh realities of the slum life that engulfed us night and day. Fate followed me one day when I entered the center's hall. I saw people playing a sport I had never seen before. It was badminton, I later found out. My new passion was badminton.
With my grandmother's blessing, badminton became my sport. Must have been 8 to 10 years old. Every evening, she endured the foreign stories I brought home about the sport. An understanding old lady she was. Never did she doubt my passion. She believed in my newfound dream and blindly tagged along an expensive venture by struggling to fund what badminton required of me. Badminton introduced me to some people. They were the older badminton players I met when I joined the sport. Annette Nakamia, Chivumbi Godfrey, Gilbert of Uyuru, and the late Frank Nsubuga Chisembo welcomed and taught me how to play. Those people lit my candle. Lugogo Indoor Stadium is where I won my first badminton tournament in the under 13 boys category. It is a moment of fond memories. Badminton made the young boy from Zambia slums cross the Ugandan border to play Kenya International Badminton Tournament. My grandmother was so proud of me. Unknown to us was that my life as a world traveler had just begun. I qualified to play in Africa Youth Badminton Championships in Botswana. My grandmother struggled to source for money to fund my trip. Such was her belief in me. I lost in the first round, but the loss motivated my aspiration for greatness. My arrival on the badminton scene had been noticed. I was invited to Cape Town, South Africa for the African Elite Badminton Players Training, where I emerged as one of the best players. My little dream was coming alive. In 2002, I went back to South Africa for the Youth World Badminton Championships. My first round exit further escalated my zeal. My bronze medal at the All Africa Games, Algeria in 2007, was the only bronze medal won by Team Uganda at the Games. It was the first for Ugandan badminton. 
I won Mauritius International Tournament in 2008 and I became the first African player to win the tournament after 20 years. Hard work paid off. I got an Olympic scholarship to an Olympic training center, Sabraken, Germany. The purpose was to prepare me qualify for the 2008 Summer Olympic Games. This opportunity changed my life forever. My dream was now bigger. My biggest badminton dream came alive when I became the first Ugandan badminton player to participate in the world's biggest sporting event, the 2008 Summer Olympic Games, Beijing, China. A car accident in 2009 almost brought my badminton days to an end. Doctors had little hope I could recover from the multiple fractures I had sustained. I spent almost a year without holding a racket. Miraculously, I healed and resumed training. In 2010, I played my second Commonwealth Games in India and made it to my second Summer Olympic Games in London. From 2012, Extreme, a Chinese sports equipment company, signed me on a four-year clothing and equipment contract. I represented Uganda at the All-Africa Games and won a bronze medal in 2015. I also qualified for the World Championships 2015 and made it to the second round the first African player to achieve that fate. In 2017, I signed a two-year contract with Yonex, one of the world's top sports equipment companies. Discipline and respect for my body and the people around me are key. I don't play when injured and I don't abuse my body through use of drugs. When I was young, I looked up to my uncle Godfrey Wakabo, a talented boxer who made it to the Olympic Games in Atlanta. His talent was cut short due to drug abuse. His life is now a shadow of the talented boxer he was. To me, it's a constant reminder of a dream cut short. Being a top player, I have had to condition my mind and body to stay focused. I have worked with a lot of people from different cultures and background and respecting them has got me where I am today. Being focused has enabled me choose right from wrong. That way, I have stayed on the right track. Professional sport demands of me to do the right thing on time. My grandmother gave me love. It is that love that lights my path. Today, I have a sports platform which I use to change other people's lives, especially those that have the same dream I had as a young boy. A lot of people have helped me along the way. I am trying to give back to society whichever way I can. Sport got me where I am today. I envision that for those boys and girls that dare to dream. I conduct badminton training clinics at home to share my experience with them. My hope is to mentor and inspire them. My badminton family across the globe donate sportswear and rackets which I bring home whenever I can. It's important for them to access the basic necessities in sport. I do charity work because I understand its importance. I and some people I grew up with envisioned a better life for the youth in the slums of Nsambia. We established Improve the Youth, an NGO that utilizes education, 
sports, music and drama, computer training to counter the destructive life of the slums. I want to inspire the youth by using my story to show them that with determination, anything is possible. I was the first African player to sign a contract to play professional badminton at club level in Europe. We won the Dutch Cup and a bronze medal at the European Club Championship while I was with BCA Amersfoort. I am the first Ugandan badminton player to play in two Olympic Games. I played three All-Africa Games and won a medal in each. Played World Badminton Championships and became the first African player to progress to the second round. The first African player to make it to the top 70 World Badminton Federation ranking. I was ranked Africa's main seed number one for over five years. I am currently playing and coaching a club in Luxembourg and coaching a sports school for elite athletes. Badminton gave me a family I never had. The Van Zalins took me in when I got to the Netherlands. My sponsors over the years believed in my ability. I thank them for believing in me. My ever-growing sporting family across the globe, you are the true reflection of the power of sport. It breaks boundaries. Come on. 